the Pharaoh. Known you for a while. We're in uh, Manhattan Beach, so we're in a little south today for dinner. Yep. You have your own restaurant now in Manhattan Beach called MB Falls, that's just Manhattan Beach. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you created your entire menu, it's all you. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it starts with those, the bread. You make the bread at at home here. Yeah, when we decided to open up the restaurant, we really wanted to make sure that everything was being made in-house. One of the things that we really wanted to yeah, start... Yeah, funky breads, right? Yeah, fun, different. We yeah. wanted to do something very different, so we decided to do a really a really great uh, uh, cheddar and uh, cheddar and uh, bacon biscuit uh, that's really rich and served with the maple butter. We do um, soft pretzel that we serve with in-house horseradish mustard, um, and then we do a grilled naan bread that we serve with yogurt and uh, harissa sauce. So, yeah, first thing in the house, and then during the course for dinner, and we're going to go down to the dinner. Um, the waitress kept saying mustard, homemade, mustard, homemade, mustard. Yeah. How many, what is love after well, one of the, mustard? Well, it's just, Did you know. You, were you born in a mustard job? What? No, but when, we, but when, you know, one of the things that was really important to me after working in, in some of the different restaurants and, and, and was important to my cooks was that we were making our own things in house. So making our own pickles, making our own mustards, making our own preserves. So how many different mustards do you we do? We have four different mustards in the restaurant. We have four different preserves in the restaurant. We've got about eight different types of pickles that we do as an assortment. So um, marinating our own olives with a lot of orange and lavender and things like that. So we really wanted to make sure that we we did those things in house, so our cooks would be really excited about it. So, and it'd know, be different than in other places down here. You came to our table, and we, we talked, and you discussed this. You, you kept telling me casual, casual, casual restaurant. Right. Well, I agree with the casual atmosphere, but I don't agree with the casual food. It's like the food is. It is casual, it's not fine dining, but it's an upscale research casual food. Yeah, it's it approachable, I think. Approachable is, I think, the best word. Yeah, but still, you put a lot of work and effort yes, into it. Yes, yeah. There's okay. a lot of sauce of what you do, like the yeah. cucumber salad. Yeah. What, what comes with cucumber? Uh, there's marinated cucumbers, it's marinated in red wine vinegar. There comes a, uh, we have a, a pine nut uh, hummus underneath it. Papadou peppers, uh, garbanzo beans, so it's, it's, uh, it's, chilled it's, ceramic. Yeah, there's, even though you get this yeah. casual feel, it's not. It's a little resource cuisine. I think the thing that we're really looking to do at this restaurant is to have very soulful food. So, food that makes you think of a time or evokes an emotion or makes you or, 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 or takes you back to a certain place. And, and a lot of food that we have um, at the restaurant does that for me and does that for our cooks. So when we say casual, we're really talking about the vibe of the restaurant. Anyone come in, they can come in and get one or two things and sit at the bar and, and go home, or they can come in with a group of eight people and really sit down for two and a half yeah, and hours. Yeah, you have, you have four communal tables so everybody can just Yeah, we have over share. 40, I think that 40, 44 seats in the restaurant out of 104 are communal tables. So we only we don't take reservations on those. Those are for people to walk in, and, and we really wanted to keep the restaurant and open you for go people to the farmers market. So everything is you know organic, like this egg, this gorgeous egg that we have on the asparagus. Yes, exactly. The organic Jodori egg. It's nice red, a really orange, runny, and the product's really important. So yeah, yeah, two to three times a week to the market. Your green beans, your Brussels sprout that you melt and on top on top of it. Yeah, exactly. You have big plates of charcuterie and cheese. Yep. Done by, uh, yeah, cool. we really wanted people to come in and kind of pick and choose and dabble and try more than just an appetizer and entree. We wanted people to come in and try two or three or like four things. Like the Holly Bud, exactly. And then yeah. the, uh, the, the Thai Snapper. Thai Snapper, yep. Yeah, and the Thai Snapper is a great example of the food that we're doing down here. We're, we're steaming it. It's very light. It's very citrus. It's not fatty. It's not rich. Um, and that's something that the people in this neighborhood love because. They're very healthy people. I mean, people are walking on the beach every day. They're volleyball and they're biking. They're very health conscious. They, they care about how they look and, and how they feel. And that's a dish that really lends towards the well, well towards that. Lamb belly instead of pork Lamb belly, belly yeah. You want to do yeah. everything different, right? Lamb belly is, yeah. You know, that was something that we tried and we just said, wow, this is amazing. You know, it has. It takes a long time. It takes 24 hours to grind and then 48 hours to cook. But when it's done, it's it's just really tender and it's it's a really and then, and then killer you, product. And then you have all these you know side dishes that was the you know, the I think, sorry, or yeah, the yeah, green, green beans. spicy green beans yeah. with the pork and the soy. Yep, yeah, exactly. Some things that are a little bit we, we don't really think of main dishes and side dishes. All the dishes are about the same about the same size. They're all within or around the same uh, price range. Also been very nice cast iron. Yeah, it was important yeah, to us yeah. to have really a lot of cast iron and a lot of um, enameled cast iron, a lot of style cookery, uh, revel, things that we could actually cook the product in and then serve it in that so it's staying nice and hot because when people are sharing, if you don't get to it right away, by the time you get to it, it can be cold. So we wanted to have a lot That's of it. Really yeah, exactly. yeah, and then exactly. dessert came, strawberry shortcake, but yeah. the, 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 the great one was in the jar, in the, the cheesecake, yeah, it's upside down. Yeah, it's a it's a Bellwether Farms ricotta cheesecake with lemon. Um, we use right now we're using apricots, stone fruit apricots in season. 
a little bit of cornmeal streusel, rosemary, um, a little bit, tiny, tiny bit of honey, but Marcona almonds. Again, very, very simple products, but done in a way that yeah, hopefully is interesting to Yeah, in a certain way. And then we, do have, we have to mention the, the drinks, the specialty drinks you have yeah, yeah. from the bar. So. Yeah, the bar, Terry Garbus and, the, and our bar crew are just doing an amazing job at coming up with the Corpse Reviver and the Dur Dirge and our Mofojito and really having the kitchen get involved in too. We make coriander gas streaks for the drinks. We make all our own purees for the drinks. We make our own salts. We make our own bitters. So it's an exciting part to be involved in that as well. There. And then you change the menu every day. And then every day you hand write on the menu what's your favorite, right? Well, yeah, I, yeah, and we also handwrite things that we're trying out. Um, today we're doing. Uh, and it's all it's your handwriting. Yeah, it's my handwriting. Yeah, perfect. Well, it's 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 my restaurant, and it's and it's you know all the cooks are involved in the menu, and, and we all really enjoy um, the creative process of it. But um, what it comes down to is me being able to say, look, I really love the Abla Vigas. I love those. I mean, they're meatballs, but they taste great with the maple syrup and the, the miso that we do in them. And I always try to put a quote on the menu that inspires me or that. that yeah, I like the quote of the day. Today's quote was yeah. everything in moderation, including moderation. Moderation by yeah. Dilla Chavez. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Thank, thank you. you. Cheers.